What is going on guys, it's CG here and welcome back to another Ark Survival Evolved video. Today's video is going to be a bit different to what I normally do. Um, I'm normally recording over on Pooptopia where most of my YouTube series will revolve around. However, today's episode is very very special. I in fact play at two servers. I play this PvP server. It's an unofficial one but I play with a few of my friends and some very old tribe mates and old alliance tribes that we used to play with back when Ark first got released. Now, this server, unfortunately, is going to be wiped in the next two to three days um, due to the, the center being released, and they're switching over to the new map. But my good friend here, Yakimo, has been so kind to allow me to do an entire base showcase on his extremely OP, overpowered, absolutely amazing base. Best One of the best bases I've seen in the entirety of Ark is just so goddamn amazing that I have to record it for you guys, I have to show it to you guys, it's so good, I need your opinions on this, it is absolutely outstanding, a lot of time and effort has gone into building this space, so a massive shout out to Yakimu again for letting me record this, and the rest of his tribe as well, they have all put in so much time and effort into building this base, and leaving a like on the video, I'd very much appreciate that, to show the support to these guys who have built this, and support to the video, so more people can see this amazing, amazing base. Like I said, the, vi the map is wiping, which is unfortunate, but this base is so goddamn awesome that I had to record it today, it is split up into many different parts, it is so goddamn powerful. On oh guys, I'm just speechless. I just gotta show it to you. All right, guys. So I am here on my second server that I play on. This is the PVP server, the unofficial one. I am joined by my friend who's currently in the call, but he'll speak in just one moment when I go over to his base. This was gonna be the start of our new base. However, we couldn't finish it because obviously the server's wiping. So we've literally just quit here. Uploaded our dinos ready for the transfer and literally just ditched the base. So we're just gonna wait for the server wipe I'm quickly gonna fly over to his base now. It is absolutely OP and so amazing You could be shocked to see it. I do drop to about 15 frames just getting over here so <laughs> As you can see right now Everything's loading in all his dinos are floating. This is absolutely insane I just gotta load everything right up. Oh, it takes forever, but it's still rendering in Jeez, it's got massive quetzes. This one's not even loading in. It's taking its time. Got insane amount of lag on 15 frames. It's still taking ages to load in. There it goes. Half Danish destroyer. His battle quetz is so cool. Well, half of it is anyway. Oh, there's the other half. <laughs> he has a Giga Pen over here, which is. He has one Giga in here, which is. Gorgia, Gorgia level 162. Uh, he had four gigas, but the other three have been uploaded, ready for the transfer to the next server. He's got a bunch of beers down there. So many spinos, which I'll talk to him in a minute about how many he has. A whole load of rexes, and he has 24 turrets on each side of this base. There's only four missing on that side, but on each side there's 24 turrets. And every second they fire, they all together do 4,800 damage. You can imagine flying a Quetz over here with about 20k health. It's only going to take about 4 or 5 seconds for that Quetz to be killed. That's how insanely powerful this base is. This is a massive box. It's got a massive dino pen here. Oh, it's absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. So, we have all of his Spinos. So many, I think I counted 13 last time I checked. A whole load of Rexes. Um, right, what else do we have? We have his Parasaur there and his little little boxer invincible mobile AA. But moving on, we're gonna go inside his base actually. I'm gonna quickly do that. And look inside here. Uh, I forgot the command to turn off the lens flares on the floor, so we just have to ignore them. But we got what? Four turrets here, four, eight turrets downstairs. In the center, he has his uh, generators with all his cables. And then, as we climb upstairs, or he actually has an elevator, I'm gonna come on and get him to do this now because I don't actually know how to do this. So, just be with me, guys. I unlock the elevator though. Is it? Oh, oh it's control panel. Is it? I don't know yeah. how to use it. Oh, unlock, stop, elevate. Oh, wow, I'm <laughs> such a retard. <laughs> Okay, so what have we got up here? We got a whole bunch of doors leading to more turrets, which is insane. Loads of fridges. Um, I'm assuming these were filled with meat for your dinos. Or oh, not sure actually. 
Uh, one, two, three. Fridges upstairs are mostly with kibble, eggs, mm. uh, vegetables for different kibble, and then it's food <laughs> for ourselves. That is. And behind each, behind behind each of these doors, there are a vault. Oh yes, the vaults all Except inside. For one. That is OP. You have your MG, MG. I don't even know what to say now. Uh, what are they called? Electrical generators in the center, which is brilliant. You can defend. You have the two. You have Quetz platform at the top, on the third floor. It's like a airstrip, which is really really cool. Vaults behind every single one of these doors. Right, oh yeah, here we go, he's got one open, oh. How many vaults? So there's a vault on each floor, so there's one underneath this, is there? And then one above it, maybe? Yes. In in this base, it's a, tw it's a total of 20 vaults. So basically, this base is just uh, one giant uh, storage box, pretty <laughs> much. That is amazing, and obviously you would have had more turrets up here, if you had more time to put them on these little platforms. Would have been quite a few. Yeah. Or if we re actually put more time into the base, we would have had a lot more into the base. We would have had 14 turrets on each floor on the inside, as well as the 24 on each side of the exterior as well. Now that is insane. How many war crets is? Three, is it? Uh, out at the moment? Yes. Three. At this base we have three, which is basically just plant earths, uh, except for the one you're pretty much at, uh, of Arts, which has more turrets oh, yeah. on it. Uh, it's more like proper war quetzals with more turrets at the other base that we oh, have. Oh yeah, you did have another base. I haven't seen that one yet. I've only seen your water base and this one. Yeah, you've only seen this one. So you've got your breeding yeah, pen over here that one. is overflowing with bears or on the outside. And your massive dino pen over here. Wait, how many spinos did you have? I last time I counted, I think you had thirteen, but you've, by the looks of it, you've got more than that. Oh yeah, we have more than that. I, I don't know. We have like <laughs> too many. Uh, I have no idea. Uh, above twenty, may, maybe thirty. <laughs> oh god, it's it's a lot. A whole load of rexes as well, and then there's loads of dinos in here. I don't know if this is animal. Oh yeah, our our rexes are our pride and joy. Uh, I can open the gate for you. I just lag looking at those names. It's insane. <laughs> okay. Oh, you have an Arthropura. I never even knew that. So many dinos. My, my screen is just full of blue names. Okay. It's got loads of mammoths. Everything seems to have been bunched up down here. It's all gone crazy. Stegos, mammoths, strikes. Uh... Dodo beard, not dodo beards, I keep calling them that because that's the... Uh... Oh wow, everything is just... Yeah, <laughs> everything's <laughs> just piled up, especially on the bottom floor. I don't know what it's like up here. Yeah, they're all like squished over there in the corner. Got a bunch of frogs. So many dinos, I don't even yeah, know. Yeah, everything, I think... RGs, bears, everything. <laughs> yeah, everything has been set to neutral, so... Yeah, everything's just been just smushed into one corner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wouldn't it be good now to just go into the main base, press J, make them all run towards you? That would create a lot of mess. <laughs> no. 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 And I'm gonna make you undo it. <laughs> no, I've done that before. Even when I had my old base, it took like it was a massive pain. You've got so many plant turrets. Yeah, just imagine for this. Turrets up here. You've got spikes all the way around. What's with the signs on the side? What are they meant to be for? Uh, I don't know actually. <laughs> I actually have no <laughs> idea. Look pretty cool. It's like I don't know if people can walk past them. One at my bird land. Hmm. The other has been uploaded. Um... The other four that we had here has so been five uh, in total. uploaded. Yeah, in this base we had five oh. in total. Uh, which the other four has been uploaded. And I'm guessing you left the lowest level one behind. Which is this one here? Uh, actually, <laughs> no. Level 162. I didn't even think like I thought they were really rare to find for really high level ones. Like they're normally in the wild, like only level 30 or whatever. This has. 
Yeah, this yeah. This is, has one of our lowest damage gigas. So yeah. Or what's the health on that? Uh, on this it's at like thirty one K. Thirty one K? Oh. They've changed that then with the the dino balancing. I thought they'd all be a hundred K, like when they first oh, no. were released. No, no. Well, they uh -huh. changed that pretty much as soon as it came out, pretty much. Yeah, well, I never actually managed to tame a Giga myself, so I wouldn't have known. I'd say, what, so... uh, a really low-level Giga tame? So it's not that too high. Right. Just need to watch everything rendering. <laughs> oh, lag. I can and... open the doors for you. <laughs> Oh, yes, this insane battleship, HMS Ironclad. And in here you've got an entire base, beds, loads of chests. What's up all the campfires? I'm guessing that's farming gunpowder. Uh, yeah. Ah, uh, I thought so. Or whenever we're Is out farming, um, yeah. Do you even have power on them? Damn. This is some high-tech stuff you have here. We've got more over here. This one has plant turrets and auto turrets, bit of a combination. Yeah, we don't have anything line. inside there yet. So, yeah. Oh, it sounds hollow. Yeah. This one has a bit of an interior as well. And the uh, mat boat is our, like, our um, smallest one. Oh, yeah. Still pretty OP. Yeah, like, they they do the job. Better than any of my other apps. <laughs> oh, look, awesome! Did you ever use any of them in your? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we regularly awesome. use them if we're gonna farm. Uh, for example, like grenades, uh, rockets, or C4. Pretty much, we farm everything, uh, everything except polymer, basically. And since we have a fabricator in two of them, so. Oh. Um, Club penguins right. with them. <laughs> Go on clubbing penguins. Yeah, it's. <laughs> Just uh... down on the icebergs. Alright, so. This is the water base. You have a spider, you've got loads of stuff up here. Like, a lot of this stuff up here seems useless. Like, I, do, I don't know what you'd do with a rhino in the middle of an ocean. Oh, uh, th this is pretty much uh, one of our guys' main base, pretty much. Uh, like, oh, yeah, one guy cool. has built this entire base by himself. So, yeah, this is pretty much his base. Since you see, like, an M on pretty much all the dinos. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. yeah. Matt's and Matt. Same yeah, Matt. Is that the same person who made the map boat? Yeah. Alright, so... Whole load of stuff in here. Loads of RGs. A uh, spider. Don't even know how yeah. that would be useful in here. You've got these trophies, which I never actually seen before. You get from uh, uh, the Dino Arena, arena that is happening on the server. Uh, I never even knew about that. Dino Arena. Yeah. Right. I'll give you a scoop of tanks so we can show off the uh, water oh, dinos. Yes. You mustn't forget all this. Oh god. There you go. You see fins. Alright. Let's see what's down here. Um, here we go. Did I put the feet on? No, I didn't. There we go. Alright. Just so much. <laughs> Rape Wiggy. Wiggle. Rape Wiggle. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> These names. <laughs> um, whoa. Okay, I'm gonna go all the way to the bottom. So, and you have just one crocodile right down here at the bottom. The dunker fish. Ezios, one, two, Mosasaur, I think this is, yes. Two, three, too many to count, they're just insane. Got another one there and another one here. More sharks. Another dunker fish. I don't even know what the proper name is for them, so I'm just going to call them that. It's just. I don't even know how you manage to tame these things. Like, Mosasaurs. 
I find them too hard. They're like swimming Giganitos in terms of taming. I tried taming one once and it did not go very well. I died. <laughs> that is amazing. Just like everything else. Right, oh yeah, you need your scuba gear. That's what to steal all that. Yeah, no worries. I doubt, it I doubt it matters Don't if I worry. stole it now anyway. It's all going to get deleted within the next few days. Or whenever the update is. I'm not too sure. Yeah, ends on the primitive anyway. So, won't take long to make. Yeah. So, that's your sea base. We've seen your main base and you have two other bases, you said. Or something. Yes, Somewhere. we have two base, more bases. I haven't seen these ones. This is going to be a bit of a shock. Prepare to load in a base now, because we're pretty much oh, here. Yeah. I can see all the rocks and trees are gone, so it's going to be somewhere back here. Oh, here we go. Oh, there's a Giganito there already. It's fine. Oh, another one. Oh, God. <laughs> right. Bees. This is here we, uh, this is where we do our Rex breeding. Oh, my God. So you got pillar walls. I don't know how they're supposed to. Well, I guess they stop dinos getting in. Pillar walls, pretty cool. Whoa, so much lag. Wow. This is insane. Wait, so all this stuff, like over here, even with these plant turrets, this is yours. This maze. That's, that's, that's ours. Jeez. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Someone spent painted some of the base bit pink. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, all these lines of nice. turrets and everything in here. This is insane. So you got. Oh, yeah, this is that's just... the smelter ray. Eh? Oh my god. So. Alright, okay, this is just too much process. So we've got a whole load more dinos, so many more rexes, a load more spinos. We've got quets there, because there's a quets everywhere. Two quets, in fact, there's one there. These towers, which are so cool, I mean, you've got, I've got four towers loaded with turrets. An abundance of plant turrets, too many to count. And then there's this maze over here that I have no idea what it is. The pile of doors of turrets. And some fetches inside, it's pretty pens. cool. Oh, got a lot of diamonds in here. It's as pens. Well. Oh, pretty good way of making pens. Like section all off that way, it's cool. So, what else we got over here? We got this massive box. Oh, this is where I bought your dinos are stored. So, oh, okay. Oh, the doors even open right, let's look in here. Oh my god. <laughs> Stegos, everything, just everything in the game. Millions of turtles. A whole bunch of stills. Loads more dinos. A whole load of pillars. Massive towers. This is absolutely insane. See, I want to be able to build something like this, but that is... Well, I don't even think I have the time to do that. And especially with my tribe mates, they're not exactly the smartest and best builders in the world, so... It doesn't seem like it'll happen anytime soon. You've got this cool waterfall thing. Don't even know what it is. It's like... Very strange structure. Don't even know what it is. A bridge. Uh, front of the walk is pretty cool. Is this a raft? No, it's not a raft. We've literally got a house in the middle of the river. Oh, it's down here. Dung beetles. Oh, you know, in the next patch or today, you can pick them up. This? Yeah, you can pick up dodos and dung beetles. Finally, like in two hands, I think that's what I use. Which is really good because trying to get a dung beetle out of a cave after you've tamed it is extremely annoying. We tried it, it took us like half an hour, kept getting stuck on the smallest of rocks. And then we had to call you over to carry it. That's insane. So, is this. Do you have any other base or do you have another one as well? Or is this all of them? Yeah, 
we have a smaller one which we used mostly for breeding um, like breeding smaller dinos for example wolves and stuff How many turrets are on this which we uh, used to sell and stuff like, 16 uh, turrets on you as long as well as the top I don't even know how many are up there um, so we have like what four of those <laughs> Four of those in this base. Oh, they're shooting something over here. They just killed that hunter recently. Oh, these run out of ammo. I think they like aim up and down over and over again. Maybe. I'm not sure. You stop now. Hmm. This is pretty OP. You've got so much stuff. Like, so if you got raided, you literally wouldn't even have lost that much. You would just move to your next base and just rebuild everything from there. Yeah, on this server, like, uh, we are so far ahead, like every other tribe, that it's it's, it's not even funny. <laughs> it's like no competition, you're just easily the best. No, no, it's, yeah, it's no competition, very much whatsoever. Oh, this is yours as well now, don't I'm guessing it is. Yes. This is ours as well. A minor base. Still better than mine. You've only got one metal structure in this base. But still, oh, two. two. Oh, yeah, you got a tower there. More dinos, brontos, three rexes, yeah, rexes everywhere. And empowered. Oh, yes. It, it, it used to be a lot more here, but uh, we moved it to our main base. So. Uh, yeah. And a lot of the dinos has been uploaded. So. Oh, yeah. yeah. This is still pretty insane. Like, yeah, this is where we usually like uh, used to uh, breed wolves and spinos and quetzals that we used to sell to gain uh, cementing paste. Mm. So this is was was our you can sort of say that it was, this was our main cementing paste factory pretty much. Oh right. <laughs> oh, it's just. Amazing. So you got this basically this oh you literally can just take over every single base on the island with the amount of firepower and stuff you have. Is this a breeding pen here? Uh no. It was used to hold our gigas that we had in this pen. Makes sense. Gigas can break stone though. I don't know why you trap him in a stone box. It seems kind of I don't know, it takes time. You know, and they the rage doesn't really last that long. No. I've, I've never doesn't seen one matter. Rage. Well, I have in a video before, but it's not fun. <laughs> Has one ever raged in your base? It's not fun. Like killed things. Uh, no. All right. No. So like, There's no one even dared to you... go up against our base. <laughs> so if you ever wanted to take on an alpha with a giga, what was the chance of the giga raging? So like. Something that happens, or do you just kill the alpha before it even happens? Uh, like an alpha rex, you mean, or? Uh, yeah, alpha rex. Oh yeah, alpha. like uh, our what? Uh, our best giga took out and what an level eighty alpha rex in like what six bites? Oh, okay, <laughs> that's that's a bit. It's a bit OP. <laughs> yep. So yeah. yeah. And um, basically, the Giga needs to take a lot of damage in in a short in a really short amount of time for it to be able to rage. All oh, right. So okay. If it takes constant damage, slow and constant damage, it doesn't really rage at all. The oh. Rage meter doesn't even move. All oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Only when it takes. Sudden amount of damage, like high amount of damage, it will take it, it. Then it will rage. <laughs> oh. This is just so OP. So that's like... why it's uh, dangerous to walk across, for example, big rocks with Gigas. You don't do that at all. <laughs> right, walk across big rocks, one speed you up. Because uh, when you take full damage with the Giga, Oh yeah, full damage, of course. So like, if you just walked off like a cliff, then that would be a bit of a problem. Yes. 
That would be a big problem. Because the rain, the Giga will kill you. Anyway guys, I want to thank you all so much for watching. This base is absolutely outstanding. Please leave a like on this video if you thought this base was amazing. Um, massive thanks to Yakimo for allowing me to snoop around his many bases. Take a look inside, see everything he's built. He's definitely put a lot of time and effort, and that goes in that goes for the rest of his tribe as well. And they are all amazing people and have such amazing imagination and how they're able to build this, and especially in such a short time frame as well. I wouldn't be surprised if after the map wipe, which is gonna happen in the next two or three days, um, a month after that map wipe, I wouldn't be surprised if I saw this or something similar, or maybe even something of the same. Uh, firepower capabilities being built. He really does have an amazing team and he definitely puts a lot of time and effort into his game which is absolutely outstanding. Unfortunately not all the dinos were here but as you could imagine a lot of them have been uploaded. They only do have two days to upload the dinos that they want. They've got many dinos that they're gonna have to leave behind which is unfortunate. Like all these spinos over here and all these rexes None of them can be saved, they've all got to go, you're only allowed two uploads each, um, well that's going to the new server anyway, you can upload more but only two uploads to the server, which is that we're all moving over to. So yeah again guys, I just want to say a massive thank you so much for watching, if you enjoyed this video don't hesitate to leave a like, also leave a like for Yakimo and his tribe, they are absolutely amazing people, especially for being able to build all of this base. It's absolutely amazing and just remember that this isn't his only base, this is his main base. He also has this sea base which is just out there over near Kano Island and his two other ones which were near the waterfalls near the volcano. It is absolutely amazing what he has done, he has put so much time and effort in and guys I'll see you all in the next video.